New club opening, another new club opening. This is now in Liverpool, obviously here in the UK. It says new club, Spray Shop, to open in a former car garage. A, sh a, a, a nightclub called Spray Shop? Huh? Anyway, it says here, um, launching on Thursday, February 21st, already launched. Spray Shop is a 350 capacity space with a custom made TPI sound system that takes over what was once a car garage. I love it again. I love this capacity of clubs, man, for me. I think that's a perfect mark. 150 to 500. Perfect sweet spot. Um, headlining the launch party will be Richie Ahmed and the likes of Archie Hamilton, Jesse Coloso and Joey Daniel confirmed to play in the coming weeks. It's funny they're highlighting this because these are more like tech housey um, DJs and they you'd, or you describe them as maybe more bro dance music and RA is very much trying to like steer away from those two people even though these people make them probably the most money you know the most commercial I, I think you know I'd imagine you know, putting an event with Amelia Lenz is going to make you way more money than putting on an event with Mama Snake even though Mama Snake is way better do you know what I mean so it's a funny world that they kind of have to occupy and the balance have to make but regardless I like it um, I'm hoping to create something completely different to what's available in Liverpool at the moment says the founder Kyle Muldoon um, told Resident Advisor there are a number of factors with this but it's mainly down to the crowd and the type of music we can offer on one of the best sound systems on the market that will create the buzz and the vibe of the club i love that i love that he's pushing that first and not talking about programming and booking people honestly have a club in the uk that's got good sound that's open until quite late right past maybe 3 a.m please that's possible and you're set then i'm gonna trust your booking that's what happened with Fold. Fold is the same thing. Fold, of course, had that whole, like, you know, initial kind of thing of, like, 24 hours, blah, blah, blah. But after that died and that didn't happen because, you know, local council shit, we just started going there all the time because we knew we could trust the sound, number one, and it's open late. So regardless of what's on, really, unless it's maybe a tech house rave or something that you're not really fans of or dubstep or something or jungle, most of the time you can really trust that their program is going to be decent and you can trust the sound's going to be amazing and that's basically half the struggle um for more doing the opening may be bittersweet following the death of a business partner last year he said after kevin died i was left with the idea of developing the club into what it was today i'm sure he would be amazed at what we've done with the place and it's sad that he's not here to see it yeah that's really sad man so r.i.p kevin whoever that is who is a partner of the club that's really sad to hear but i do like the inside of it look at this stack of speakers look at how beautiful that looks is that the booth behind them that's amazing right look how high up the booth is and a stack of speakers you can't even see the dj's head there isn't it if, you, if you're super small whoa i love this again red light again i like the um that's like a what's that thing that's like an acid house label logo as well with the smiley face um obviously with up north being like the home place all that stuff is quite a nice little tie-in with the red dimly lit lights um what's it says the the naughty corner this is funny this is funny it's called the naughty corner and this is the, it's in the club because in uk we've got we've got this thing in the uk where people don't really behave in nightclubs and when I mean behave, I mean they don't really like, they're not really grown ups when it comes to drugs and stuff. So for the most part, when you go to places in Europe, especially places like Berlin or Amsterdam and shit, or other places in, yeah, other, I guess other big cities that play flipping dance music, most of the times, all that stuff is regulated to the toilets. You have to kind of stick to doing it in the toilets. But for every reason in the UK, people don't care. People in pubs will be like doing quick bumps on the tables, on the dance floor. They'll be hiding behind somebody doing quick lines and shit. People don't care. Or like breaking up pills on the dance floor and swallowing them. Like there's a real kind of like, oh, I can't bother to go to the toilet. I'm just going to do it here on the dance floor. So having a room, having a space and having a corner that says the naughty corner is hilarious because quite literally there will be people and i guarantee it there will be people taking pictures and videos of themselves doing bumps in front of this light in front of this leon lighting i guarantee you it will happen i guarantee you um again no smoke inside here on the inside looks really cool let's see what events they have coming up for the spray shop place it looks really nice definitely something that i would probably end up checking out here let's see and it's definitely an excuse to go to liverpool as well because i've not been have I ever been? No, I have been. Yeah, I went a couple of years ago. I won't say I've never, never been. Um, but yeah, it'll be a good chance to kind of go because, you know, I love to use um, clubs as an excuse to kind of discover new interesting places. Okay, no listings on here, unfortunately, which is weird. Let's check out the Instagram. Then maybe they've got something on the Instagram we can kind of check out. It's odd they don't have any listings on RA to see what events they have coming up. But maybe they have more later on. Okay, see so already. So they were open already here. Looks like we've got some pictures and stuff already of what went down. This is the Instagram account, the Spray Shop 
underscore you can find on instagram if you care just click the first picture and see what this is about with the logo and whatnot it says tonight we brought boogeyman to liverpool thank you everyone who came down so yeah, it's going to turn into a good place it's already cool they've got a cool little logo there people are going to want to take pictures outside of it outside of the queue on the way home they've really created a little bit of content around the whole place which is pretty cool you love to see it very professional very on point they've got already another light here that I think, no, that's not past. That's coming up in April. Archie Hamilton, Diminish, Ben Jones, and Asojo. It's again more tech housey type of vibe, not really my kind of thing, but I still like it. They've got another party here called uh, Kaluki Liverpool happening very soon at the spray shop in April. They've got a whole team picture here. The Last of Us, the crew that showed up last night, and the reason the club I built. Awesome. Nice to see everybody there hanging out. Everyone wearing black hoodies and whatnot. This is usually the crowd that you see at these kind of events anyway. They you know, they're usually always good banter and vibes, but for every reason, I don't know why it is in the in dance music, there's such a divide within the people that, you know, they would deem to be like Bergheim or dark techno people and people like this for a reason. But we're all kind of the same really, to be honest. And if anything, these lot are probably way nicer. You probably have a way more fun a time going to a club like this than you would do going to a burger. I guarantee you, especially if you're not from a certain community. Um, it's a clip of diminished playing here at a club. <laughs> Yeah, it's not for me, man. It's a little bit too Caucasian tech house for me, man. It's a little bit too, oi, oi, you know, um, oli, oli, oli for me personally. But I still appreciate some of the DJs that play this sort of stuff and obviously the events they put on and whatnot. But it's a little bit too oli, 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 oi, oi, oi for me personally. But regardless, it's there. It's alive. Let's check out the story to see what it's looking like on the inside. We've got some clips already here of people on the inside having a good time at this place called The Spray Shop. Let's put some sound on here. <laughs> Yeah, it looks good, innit? It looks quite cool. I like the red lights on it. I like how it's laid out. It's a small room. The sound looks banging. Oh, look at that DJ move. Shows the DJ. Nice. Okay, and I wonder, maybe, I don't know, acoustic-wise, but I wonder, with it being a former car garage, maybe sound insulation-wise is pretty decent. Is that a thing? I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I've never worked in a garage or anything. I, mean, I, I know I look like a handyman. No, but um, I wonder if that's a thing. But anyway, regardless of them, big up um, the spray shop. Hopefully that goes on to doing bigger and brighter things in the future. Great to see um, new spaces opening up in clubs and stuff in the UK 